The background is green today because, of course, it's all about money. You guys know that. I know that. But today I want to talk about tips. I think I talked about tips and gratuity recently and in a live stream or something. But I wanted to come back to this because there's actually a video about this. And I don't think I ever uploaded this video because it wasn't that grand of an incident. But this was in 2016, I think, when I was on my speaking tour across the United States. We were in the Smoky Mountains, that little town down below the Smoky Mountains. I can't remember the name. We went to a, a Chinese food restaurant and they put a mandatory tip. And I said, this is BS. And I was going around and they called the cops. They called the cops on me. The cops came and I basically told them like, I can pay a tip or I can not pay a tip. The irony of this treating your clients like crap is I, I was gonna leave a tip. I'm not actually a bad tipper. And I'll show you this, but I got thinking about this because of this Facebook post that just recently came up and I'm gonna show you right here because it's what we do here, right? It was just one of these posts that pops up on your Facebook feed and I left a comment. I just left my comment and walked away and my comment became the top comment. And I want you to look at what people are saying, but first, let's just look at this video real quick. I went back to the archives. I have this in there. I'll happily leave you a tip. I think you did a great job, but I don't do mandatory tips. So if you guys can take that off there and I'll, I'll leave you a tip on the table. Oh, I ain't happy for that. Okay. What's that? I ain't happy for that. Say again? Okay, I ain't happy for that, okay? You're not happy about that? No, I'm happy. I ain't happy, okay? Just, I don't understand. Okay, if you want more, you can add a one, okay? I ain't happy. Right, but I just want it off here because I'll, I'll leave a tip separately, but I don't do a tip as part of my, this is my bill oh, here. Okay, this is a house policy for this, okay? Right, but I, but I didn't agree to pay a mandatory gratuity. Yeah, but, uh, the house policies. Your policy doesn't mean that I have to pay money. Okay. No, 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 this is house policy, okay? And it's my policy that I don't pay tips on the receipt. I don't, I don't pay mandatory gratuity. Excuse me? I don't pay mandatory gratuity. That's my policy. Yeah, but uh, this is a restaurant policy. So okay. Did you get an agreement from you on yes. that before? That's not uh, I didn't charge you a little uh, extra. Okay, this is a tip. This is tax. This is a tip. I don't know why you guys would spoil the... This is what, what I'm saying. Okay, this is house policy. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people just don't keep here. So we have to... Okay, do you want me uh, to get on the top? You come over here and show me. Come over here. Okay, no problem. Is it on the menu? Is it, is it stated on there? Do you know what a gratuity is? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. I'm a, I asked you a question. I know exactly what it is. Well, what, tell, tell me what a gratuity hey, is, don't, officer. Don't belittle me. I'm not belittling you. I asked you, you a question, me. I'll answer my question. I'm not answer, here to answer your questions. Well, that's fine. If it's on there, which I think he showed it to you, because I watched. Do, do, did he have a contract with me before I... I don't I know about it? your contract, but I know it's in his menu. I know you came in here and ate. So if I write something somewhere, does that mean you have to abide with it too, even if you didn't see it? You came in here and did a service. He did a service for you. Yeah, and he did a good service and until they have this it. and spoil it. It's, it's in his menu. It's up to you as a consumer yeah, I, to read it. I, I understand the law. Just like when you take medicine. Okay. You have to read the directions. I don't want to debate law with you because I know the law. Well, that's fine. Because they asked me to come over here. No. So I have to. What's your name? My name is Bowling. Bowling? Okay. Yeah. And they asked me to come over here. I don't have a choice. I have to read Yeah, I mean, I understand. And they're, they're kind of ruining the experience for the, the whole thing. I mean, the truth is I would have given him a tip. I thought he did a good job. But on principle, I don't pay mandatory gratuity. And a line in a menu. I'm not know. here to side with anybody. No, you're here to... to uphold the Constitution. That's all you got to do. I'm here to just do my job. And what, I know it's in right, there. Right. I but mean, I have to pay it when I go other places too. Yeah, I don't pay money. Whether I agree with it or not. Well, sometimes you, know, you got to stand up for things, you know? Well, you know what I'm saying? That's your prerogative. That's I'll, my prerogative. I'll, all right. I will call and have a supervisor come right. over. Yeah, well, we're not going to wait for a supervisor to come over. You ruined the officer's dinner. You ruined our dinner. We had a good experience. We had good food. We would have left a good tip because of this and your guys' unprofessionalism. I left you a five-star review on, on Yelp, and now, I will, now I'm going to remove it. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you guys still love We're fine. I just, I, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go. Again, I'm not here to side with anybody. My name's Paul. My name's Gavin. Hey, you take care. Okay, so that happened. We went on our way and yeah, right? I mean, I was traveling. I was dealing with police videos every couple of days when I was on the road. And it was just like another video. There's actually a lot of videos in my archives that weren't incidents that were that significant, I guess I should say. And they've never even been uploaded. I've got the same collections of videos of things that have occurred 
here in Mexico because, of course, it takes time to put videos like this together. So a, a big shout out to the channel backers, the Patreon supporters, those of you that throw out the super chats and all that in reference to this thing on Reddit, right? And I think this is talking about Hawaii. Tipping is not optional. Here's, here's what you should do. Tipping is optional. That is literally the definition of, of what a tip is, a gratuity. A tip is a short word for gratuity. Something given voluntarily or beyond obligation, usually for some service, especially tip. Tipping is not optional. Definition of tipping, something given voluntarily. Are you seeing the pattern here? This is the same thing police do, right? You have to give me this. You have to let us talk to you and answer questions. You have to let us talk to your children. You have to give me your papers. When a restaurant is trying to put a mandatory tip, they're trying to screw over their customers because they don't want to pay their employees and they want to make sure it's covered so their employees stay. Now, first of all, this comment, a lot of people get this because most of us are frustrated. The people that don't get this are the people that are servers, usually the people in my experience that are bad self-entitled servers because anyone who's a good server knows, and I have done serving in a restaurant, I work with people all the time that work in a restaurant and, and, and all of them know, and I know occasionally when I have worked actually restaurant service down here in Mexico, that if, if tips are to be had, and it's even more difficult down here because there's not as much of a tipping culture, you better do a good job. Anyone who says tipping is not optional as a scammer. It's illegal for anyone to force you to tip, even if added to your ticket or noted in a menu, you don't have to pay it. A tip is a gift. If you're a server who wants tips, impress your client and you'll do well. If you don't like your job, leave. I have a lot of family that works in the restaurant business in the United States as well. And so I grew up around family that owned restaurants and were working and having these conversations. But sometimes the people didn't want to become managers and have salaries in the restaurant because the servers in the restaurant could do so well and make more money by doing tables and getting tips. But the reality is this isn't a question of government. If you don't want the job, people are like, the job pays this much, okay? The job pays this much and then you get tips. And if you go there and you work and either the tips aren't what you expected or maybe you're not a good servant, you can leave the job. I've seen enough of this circus. Considering how I met you where I was your server, the countless dinners I served as you tried to win people over during your campaign, I am a professional, as are many out there. Let's see you make a living wage that a, with a pin that says tipping is optional. Uh, Matthew, um, I honestly apologize if I don't remember. My campaign when I was running for Congress was some years ago. I'm sure I tipped. But the problem with Matthew's mindset and many of these comments is it's totally self-entitled. If I was a server, I could absolutely wear a pin that says tipping is optional. In fact, the restaurant... Uh, stuff that I work with and help do marketing for and stuff down here in Mexico, there's a point made on the menu that says tipping is optional. If they didn't do a good job, please send an email to the owners. That's the level that servers should be demanded of. I say tipping is not optional. I don't work in a tip position, so I'm not benefiting from that. However, I've worked many tip positions Wait staff, bartenders, hairdressers do not make anywhere near a living wage. It's not the employee's fault. The law allows them to be paid so low because of the expect expectation of tipping. Victoria, BS, tipping is literally optional. And anyone who tries to tell you it's not or force you to pay a tip is extorting you and it's illegal. I remember stories from years back that I think even had someone arrested because the cops are so stupid and such abusers of people's rights. And that restaurant ended up getting bombarded uh, and going out of business because they deserve to go out of business. Now in Mexico, this is different. There's an agency down here um, that, called Profeco that's basically the consumer rights, the weights and measures agency. They check the gas pumps, the scales, things like that. Because this continues to be an incident, apparently, probably in Mexico because the restaurants are trying, they're like, oh, this works in the US, we need to do it here. And people are getting pissed by it here. And so this Profeca, this consumer rights agency actually came out and said, no, no one can require a tip. It's a gratuity. I translated this with the auto translate into English, but this is a, is a Mexico article and the restaurants cannot require a tip since it's a voluntary gratuity. Okay. 
the, uh, the Profeco actually went to Sam's Club recently, right? They, they shut down a Sam's Club and fined them, which that's another matter, right? I feel like when government's finding people, they're just looking to line their pockets. So they shut down the Sam's Club for checking people's receipts. They said, this is a public nuisance. This is a violation of the consumer protections. And they told them to stop and they didn't. And they closed the store temporarily as a, as a punishment. I think they, they closed the store for three days, this Sam's Club, because they said, you cannot make people show you their receipt. End of story. And I've been saying this for years in the States. And people are like, what's the big deal? It's part of the contract when you join Costco, when you join Sam's Club. A contract doesn't mean that something that is mine is yours. It doesn't mean that after I've paid for something, you have the right to search it, to review it. It's mine. I see most people here not going for it to the point where it's in national news and the, the federal agencies are saying, yeah, no, you can't do a mandatory tip. So they're getting more ahead of it down here. Whereas in the US, we still have these, these crazy lunatic restaurants that are trying to say, oh, we put a micro note in, in two point font in the menu. You have to give us extra money. Nonsense, absolute nonsense. And no, you don't. The way to do it is you make them. I'm not paying the bill or I'm, a, a, I'm amending the bill and I'll do this here and in the States, the bill will be amended before I pay it, whether they do it or whether I do it with a pen and scratch it out. I will give them the money that I owe them for the food. Then at my discretion, I'll leave a tip on the table for the server. Does that make me a jerk? I don't think so because I'm, I'm usually leaving a better tip, guys. Anyone who knows their rights in the States knows they don't have to pay a tip. It doesn't matter if it says it on the menu, if there's a little subscript, that's not a contract. In fact, someone in this same thing is like, oh, if it's in there, right? And people are calling me a jerk. They're saying, oh, you say you're a human rights activist and, and, and you don't support the little guy getting a tip. This has nothing to do with me not supporting human rights. You getting money from someone who didn't agree to pay it is not your human right. I've literally seen people saying, you better tip me first if you want good service. What kind of an ass are you? You shouldn't be in the service industry if that's what you think because you don't belong there. You don't deserve a tip. You're just a self-entitled jerk who thinks that the customer is responsible to pay your wage because you didn't negotiate with your employer. There might be jobs, and there are, I know, I know this, where the employer doesn't pay a great wage, but you're gonna do good with tips if you do a good job. And everybody in the restaurant knows it. And if you do bad with tips, it's because you're doing a sucky job. Now, there might be other restaurants that don't pay hardly anything and the tips suck. And that sucks. Right? I mean, I know employers sometimes take advantage of people and people take advantage of employers also. The, the, the crap flows both ways, guys. If you don't like your job, leave your job. I'm not responsible as a consumer just buying a hamburger, for example, to fix that for you. And I think the more you have, the more you should be generous and give to people. And even though the past couple of years, I haven't had a ton, my businesses haven't been the greatest, I still always try and make sure to leave a tip. In Mexico, it's pretty normal. I shouldn't say it's normal. A lot of people just don't tip at all or they tip terrible. But if you go to a nice restaurant, a 10% tip is considered the normal. Whereas in the States, it used to be 50. Now they're saying 20. Where does it end, guys? Where does socialism end? Gavin Simon, not true. Restaurant stayed in the menus. Gratuity is added to parties of six or eight people. It's... Total BS. It has no legal authority. It's not a contract. You didn't sign anything. It doesn't matter what sign, a policy sign is in the corner. And people always say, well, this is our policy. And I'm like, well, that's great. I don't work here and it's not my policy. With people that are working hard and if they serve us, well, I think it's great to give a tip. It's not illegal to force a tip. Please educate yourself. There's no law saying tipping is mandatory, but that's a far cry from a restaurant saying it can't include tips on a check. No, no, it's not. It's literally a scam. If you put on a menu, a hamburger costs $5 or a hamburger costs 100 pesos, and then in tiny fine print down below, you put there's going to be a gratuity of 20% for parties of six or more. That is not part of the price, which goes back to Mexico down here. You're actually legally required to post the prices. And while this is less of a problem in the States, it is very common and I notice this as a foreigner because I'll go places where they won't post the prices and sometimes they'll charge me more because I'm a foreigner. So there's a federal law here and I just went to a restaurant recently and they, their menu had no prices. And I said, what, what are the prices? There's no prices. And they said, oh, we don't put prices on the menu. I'm like, you have to put prices on the menu. That's the law. We know, but we don't put prices on the menu. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's Mexico for you. What, what really bothered me 
is not what a, what a statute says. It's that people who do this do so normally so they can take advantage of people. So they're like, oh, well, you can ask the price, right? Well, if I ask the price, I have no idea if I'm getting the price that everyone else is getting. I might be getting the gringo price. And so I walked out. All of the excuses, guys, are dumb. All the excuses are dumb. The best time to stand up is before it becomes normal, guys. We've normalized this idea in, in certain areas in the US and in other places. You, you can't normalize self-entitled behavior and socialism and taking, stealing from others, using policy, using law, so that you can have more. You have to work and earn just like everybody else. The restaurants and the managements who try to force people this stuff, they need to be treated as the scammers they are. The servers who are self-entitled, whiny little kids, who think they deserve something if they didn't earn it. Now, that's not to say you should be a jerk, but you get to decide. It's not about not wanting the server to make it, not wanting them to pay their bills. It's about respecting everyone. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Go check out this thread and leave your own comment if you want. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.